Hey, do you want to learn how to create an amazing memory photo slideshow effect in Filmora just like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. Before we get started, smash the subscribe button and leave in the comment below saying I subscribe and we will get back to you and answer all your questions. Have you done that? If you haven't, please smash it right now. So let's get started. So once again, welcome to Video Content Creator Secret Channel. Let's get started. In order to get started, we need images, photos. So you can import just your media. I've done that already. So let's drag down the first one. The first thing we need to do is to make a background. And we're going to use one of the images for the background. That's exactly what we're going to, what we're doing right now. We're going to blow it so that it should not be too bright. It's background. So we need an effect. So go to effects, type square blow, drag it down and start and place it on top of the image and it to blow the image, make it suitable for a background. So the next thing you drag in another, drag down another image and double click on it in order to resize it so you can resize it you can use uh you can put in figure there maybe take the five also or you can just do it on the screen so adjust it readjust it paste it in the right place just the way you want it you can adjust it and when you're done with that, the second thing we need to do is to add frame. We need a border. So go to the same place effects, go to utility and you drag them border, or you can just type it border and it will come up in the effects. So we've applied it. Having done that, you can pre-render it to make it play back smoothly. So having done that, we need to do the same to the other images. You can do it to as many images as you want. So let's drag down the second one. In order not to make a repetition here, just copy the effects of the first one. Then you paste it on the second image. By so doing it, you convert the second image just like the first one. Now, that's what we've done now. Let's drag it down to the other side. You can adjust it just in any position you want, then drag in the third, drag down the third one, then paste the effects, and it will con automatically convert it like the like the previous one. Now you can drag it to the position. So do the same to the others. You don't have to do it all over again. All you need to do is to use use the effect of the first one. All you need to do is to paste it on the second one, and it will automatically convert it. To that image so finish the other ones let's do it first and we'll come back and continue so make sure you rearrange them move them to the proper place just to align with each other it mustn't be on a straight line it's a photo frame so you can you can readjust it just make it just the way you want it when you're done with that so we need to pre render it just for the just for a smooth playback and when that is done the next thing we need to do is to take a snapshot of what we have on the screen right there. In order to do that, let's make sure our images are very sharp. But sometimes there could be blur. So bring it to 16. When the image is bright, now you can take a shot. Now as you can see, the image is bright and I'll take a snapshot the snapshot would automatically appear 
on your media. All right, if you have done that, then we don't need all this one. So highlight them and delete them. Now drag down your snapshot. Drag it down to a timeline. And the next thing you need to do is to stretch it. It depends on how long you want to stretch it. But one minute is, is enough. So I'll stretch it to one minute. One minute long. To actually last for one minute. Now, you right click on it and go to pan and zoom. And in pan and zoom, it, it has two phases. It has start and end. So click on one of them and readjust the frame. Drag it exactly to frame the, the picture you're trying to capture. That's, that's exactly where it's going to start from. <clears throat> the first phase, the first window will tell you where it's going to start from. And when you're done with that, you move to the second uh, window. Drag it and also adjust it on another frame. That, that tells you that where it's going to end. So you start with the first one and to, to end it. So when you're done, you click on OK. Now you can, now all we need to do is to slice it. Slice it one second. Slice, then right click on, this, on the remaining one, go back and repeat the same thing. Move it to another frame. Make sure you use the two windows, the end and the start. Then come back and slice it again. Use at least one second. One second. Slice it. Go back and repeat the same thing. Do it to the other ones. I have five images here. So I'll slice it five times. If you have 10 images, you have to slice it 10 times. You get what I'm talking about. So depending on how many images you have, the one. Is the same process and it doesn't have to be one second you can make it less than that or longer than that just know that if it is longer than that the movement will be very slow and if it's if it's less than that or lesser the movement will be very fast so it depends on exactly how you want it but I'm using one second so you can do the same to the rest dude is the same process slice it use the, the remaining part, go back to pan and zoom. Then you use the windows, I click this icon first, then you click on, on it, then move it to where you want it to end, then click OK. When you're done with that, just go through it and take your time and make sure you do it well. Take your time and do it. And We'll continue from there. And here's the last one. We expanded. This is the end. This is how I want the slide to end. To end, uh, it will end with an open shot. So let's take a look at it. Isn't it wonderful to start here? This is exactly how it's going to end. So you can choose to do it this way or the other way around. All depends on you. You're only limited by your imagination. So we don't need the other side, so you can cut it out. Now this is what we have. Let's test it and see. Isn't it wonderful? Glides across the screen. One slide after the other. Like that. All right, that's it. So we're not done yet, actually. There are other things we can do we can add transition so go to transition or uh, try them one after the other take your time you don't need to be fast you can stop it you can go back over and over again just be dragging them one after the other and putting them in between the, the, the clip that is the cut there so just try try check the movement where the frame is moving to then your slide your your transition should follow that should go along with the movement so you can try them one after the other you can try this transition first then you try your slide where it's going to you drag it down one after the other 
do the same for all. We'll, I'll fast forward it here a little bit. When we're done, when you're done, we'll continue. All right. When you're done, we're gonna have something like this. The transition usually lasts longer. You can reduce how long you want it to last. So go in there, reduce it to whichever number is right for you. And we need to, we can add other things. Just like I told you, we, we can do a lot of things right there. So the next thing we need to do, we're going to add some effects, sound effects that will make, that will go along with the movement, with the gliding. So I have a, I have some sound here and I'm going to add the sound one after the other. If you have the same thing, you can add. And if you don't want it, it's all fine. And you can download it for free online if you don't have it. But you may not hear the sound there, but when we're done, you hear it in the, in the final product. I can assure you that you're gonna like it, but it's optional, but I'm gonna add it. So when we're done, we'll move to the next stage. So now there's one more thing I want to add, which is music. You can add any type of music you want. I'm going to add this, just like I said, you may not be able to hear it now, but just a minute, you're going to hear everything. So you can add music while it's playing, you're listening to the music, going with the, with the slide. So we pre-render it and let's... Let's render it quickly. Let's render it, then we'll listen to the final product. So we're going to, we're rendering it right now. It's gonna take time. Likewise, you're depending on the file. So we'll come back and watch the final. All right, it is done. Here is the final product. Isn't it wonderful? Just. It's as easy as that. You can do it over and over again. You don't have to make it very as short as that. You can make it as short as this, a different one. Then you come back and, and compile them together, put your transition and everything, and you can make it last for an hour or so with a lot of pictures. So all depends on you. This is just a small test of it. You can apply the same method and you can do more. So. Thank you for following with this tutorial. If you find it well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it, share it with your friends to encourage us to make more of those of these videos like this. And see you in the next video. Thanks for listening. I'm out.